Okay, so the police just took off hella fast. And they said that they're sent KKK down the street. I don't know what's happening, but they were screaming for cameras. So I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm running down there. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh shit, my backpack just broke, y'all. Fuck. I knew that was gonna happen, okay. Get me shit together. Okay, it didn't broke. Sorry. Get my shit together. Sorry, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. My backpack just broke. <laughs> We're going back to Farachi's Pizza. They said the KKK is down there. The police, the police just, I don't know, said KKK is at the, at the pizza place. Yeah, Frotsies. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I gotta fix my backpack later. Well, you know. I'm already in. Yeah, yeah, to the pizza place. Tell the police. Thank you. I smell fire. There's a smell of fire. Please retweet this. It's going to fuck down right now. I don't know, they said. I've been hearing a lot of reports, but right now I'm just here to find out. What happened? Hey, what? Oh, oh. It's in the bank. Excuse me, guys. He got a gun somewhere. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now how does he got to go? He got no gun in the box. He got no gun on that. Now let him walk down the sidewalk. He can walk down the sidewalk. Let this punk motherfucker walk down the sidewalk. You better get your punk ass on down. Hold on, I won't leave in sight. No, I checked the back. Now, okay, I but he don't call us out. I know. Get your punk ass on. 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 Oh, uh, we visited family. Why are you here in our city? Cause he here with me and my family. Me and my family from here. So, so what? So what? So what? So what the fuck was your point then? So what the fuck was your point then? You gonna stay off mine and I know that? You gonna stay off mine and I know that? Don't say shit to mine. How about that? I don't give no fucks. Tell him, Steve. 
You want to talk about an agitator? He been refusing to serve black people like this the Woolworth counter of 2014. Now, is that illegal? Where's the enforcement for us? Uh, no, nah, he said he checked the pizza box. Ain't nobody had no motherfucking gun. You might as well say that motherfucker had a gun. He called me a bitch. That's a gun. Other man over there. Now me asking me what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm here because I'm black. It don't matter where I'm at. You know what? Let me just breathe for two seconds. Stupid bitches. Fuck Missouri, racist ass state. How about we stop paying our fucking taxes? And see how how far your fucking revenue go. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not gonna let them crack down on the fucking camera. Huh? I don't even know. I just know somebody was saying help. No, no, say nothing to mine. Hey, no, say nothing to mine. This should be blue because this is something. That don't bother me, boo. You can record me, you can fuck me, you can do all that. I ain't got no problem with it. How you want to shave your hair, boo? I don't give a fuck. Hey, what we up here? What, Do a what, mic check. Do on? a mic check. 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 Mic Y'all almost saw a successful people's mic. They getting more organized. You almost saw them doing a, a, a successful people's uh, mic to get the control or attention of the crowd. Um, you see that there are several cars driving back, several police. Oh, you see the officers on scene, they have name tags. This is Officer C. Uh, retake, it looks like. Hey, how you doing? Am I right? See, I missed my plane, but I think I was supposed to. You know? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's in my back pocket. This Farachi Pizza Place. Um, we're on the corner of Lee and Florescent. Uh, Florescent. We see a lot of uh, police. Some of the, a lot of familiar faces on the police department. You think I want? You think I want our community destroyed over this? Absolutely not. See what guys do when you meet me. It's all about our community. What are you going to do about it? Grab him! 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 Grab him!
Ain't nobody walking with us. All y'all do is talk down here. Oh, I see you. Uh, 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 See all the pussies we used to whoop their ass in high school with Phil Nolan from Florida. They went out to St. Charles County, Lincoln. Now they got big damn Wilson supporters. Come on. 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 Come um, on top of other reasons. But, but this is not this is not his property. Look, if you lying right here, put my foot right there. They got on the floor. Come on, 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 you ain't got no spit on your face. You ain't got no spit on your face, bro. I got one that's in my pocket. No, it's in this one. That's right. I got a bunch of shit down here. Oh, here, give it to me. Okay, sorry. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Because I don't know who y'all are. Anybody out here. You said your damn self, bro. So I said, white um, they've been out here claim at first it was on Facebook said it was a Darren Wilson support group. Then they claimed that they was over here to do uh a conceal and carry thing. Then they said that they was here as um, a high school uh, reunion, but it was like from 1970 something to 1990 something, and they all was white, and they all came out to show uh, support for the business after the dude put a gun on y'all. You know what I'm saying? And so then, you know, and some of us got together and put some money together to go in there and see how it would be to be treated as a customer, and they turned away a lot of black people, locked the doors, not letting black people in, and it was like the Woolworth Counter of 2014. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we that What are you guys here for? And I said, I, I, well, yeah, and I bought some food. I'm like, I'm here because I'm a customer. He didn't make any of the white people that came and bought the food. The black people who did. You got to give you our money. Maybe. 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 So, I mean, but really, we need to leave. I'm here. Because it's a distraction. But no, no, he's not here today. He don't even want to let you in there. Hey, look, you black. You're not, you not going in there. You black. You're not going in there. Look. You see what I said? Look. They don't serve black. 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 Yeah. They need to leave and stay focused, but I ain't leaving them. If this is what they want to do, then this is what they want to do. They coming too, baby. Let's go. They out we boxing ourselves in. Y'all need to we leave. We boxing ourselves in. Y'all need to leave. There are a lot of police coming right now. You see all these police cars. This one right here? Oh yeah, I got his name. I went up to his badge number. Oh yeah, for the past couple nights, he's been like, he is a true big kid. He's trying to work his way up. You 
There's a lady with her baby over there. He can be older than, and then one, possibly younger than that. They call him for all available cars to come here. But guess what? He ain't even been here to get let out. It don't even matter how long, but how he can be able to get out. I spent more time than that. So, I done spent 48 hours in there. He ain't spent not one. This is your pain. I'm not arguing. I'm just saying. I'm putting the justice system. Come on, man. My hands out of your hands. It's the justice system. It was not killed, though, right? The justice system. Not killed. His wife was in the house. His wife went in the fucking system. Hey, Tom. That's what I'm talking about. I'm killing this man. I'm killing my wife. It's on film. They don't even know. Sorry. I got the right to be in the street. I got the right to be in the street. I got the right to be in the street. I got the I can't even wait to. Liz, can you get everybody attention to tell them that? This is a distraction, and they're trying to rile y'all up so they can give an excuse. We need to go back to the police department, but I'm wherever y'all at. I'm just supporting y'all, though. We built for this shit. All right, what's up? We can't be scared and run because that's why we keep, they keep getting away with shit. You got to stand your ground. We take it right to their fucking front door. Enjoy how this motherfucker looks now. Take a mental picture of this motherfucker. I don't know, but the whole crowd just started running over here. They better take a mental picture of this shit. took somebody's money, didn't give them any food. And yeah, I filmed it. Oh, he, he's um, one of the streamers that worked for Argus. Jamil, Jahil, something. Like, I can't think right now. But him, he went in there, he bought some food. They wouldn't let him back in to get it, and he never brought the food or a refund out. But that was hella earlier. So why did everybody take off running this way? I don't know. I think it's all these stupid white men that just came out. Kim, it was his money. He never got his money or his food. Oh, I'm going to go across the street so you guys can get another perspective of what's happening in front of the pizza place. Although you can see that there are several people standing on this side of the street as well. Um, I'm now across the street to get an outside perspective. You can see that there's a crowd of people standing right outside the entrance. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five SUVs, six actually. Um, more on the way. Can you, can somebody help me? Shy, can you help me? Can you just hold the camera at this so I can fix the bottom of my back? Yeah. It broke when I was running. What are you don't say? Milwaukee, this Chicago. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all streaming? Yeah, we're streaming. What up, though? What up? Yeah. Racist motherfuckers. Y'all can't change no racist person's mind. Like, they're gonna be racist. They're gonna be racist. Fuck that piece of paper, man. I ain't got all the fuck in the world. 
my god this is shy from lost boys this 14 she's holding my uh, stream for me because when i was running over here my backpack broke so um i'm trying to find a way to fix that so i can at least have a secure bag um to carry my stuff that i need for my stream so i definitely appreciate y'all patience um thank you very much just hold on for a second and she doing a great job. She need to be the next streamer. Oh, right. <laughs> we need to get some defensive streaming classes. We need to get a media committee. Hey! We need to get a media committee for Ferguson. So they can have trainings continuously. Somebody put, was that Tefco? Yeah, that was Tefco. And I need to get an interview with Tefco before I leave. Everybody keeps telling me to do that. But every time I see him, it's turn up time. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Right on shape. I'm sorry. So I'm going to keep on my cousin name, sir. Sorry. <laughs> right. These comments are funny. Somebody put Tef, call me, LOL. Okay. <laughs> Big distraction from Mike Brown. Right. Everybody really agree that we need to go back to the police station. Yeah, I just see. I mean, you know. I mean, you I, can't. I'm trying to convince people. the crowd, but that's why I tried to do that mic check training. It was almost a successful one, but it's mic check and then let somebody speak and repeat the message so y'all can be loud enough. We all got horse horses. Where the bull horn at? Thanks, Shy. I agree, back to the PD, but y'all also know I can't leave the protest. And my job is to be here and document. After these batch of cars, though, I'm going back across the street. Um, I just came to give y'all an outside perspective um, so you can see what's going on from out of the middle of the crowd. But now I'm about to go back and try to get some close-up um, footage of what is happening. Um, I'm actually very happy that I've gotten to know several people here. It's become a lot easier for me to get in and see what's going on. Um, just wait on these cars. I'm about to come over there. Thank you. Oh, you're not going to say? Can I cross? I couldn't cross in front of you? Jesus Christ. Thank you. I did a workshop. I tried to teach the mic check, but you got to wait for our movement to grow. This is still in the baby stages. They're not going to be advanced in the organizational skills. But what you can see is they have strong solidarity. They refuse to be moved. They refuse to be intimidated. They don't have their voices heard. This is the most powerful thing that I see with black youth in America. You don't see this. So I'm like, I'm sorry if it makes you uncomfortable and it's not what you want to see, but this is the most beautiful thing I've seen and I want more of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Look over this way and look over that way. That's what I want to know. What's so mad about you? I didn't try to antagonize me that way. Stop acting tough, man. Because you just said, no, hold on, flat out. Stop acting tough. Because when I was just over here, I asked you, would you repeat what you said if I was standing next to you? And you did. So shut up, man. Stop, stop being tough, bro. What is that? You can only do that when you at home online. What the fuck? And what is that? Man, you better answer these questions straight up. Flat out. Flat out. 
And don't lean your head when she's talking to you. Keep your head steady. There you go. Look at the eyes. But just like you guys quick to say, hey, y'all. Why you got your hands on the floor? We can't find no problems for happening. I'm also pressed. I'm pressed with them. We work for the same organization. Why, why can't I be with them? Like they got press badges. Is it because he white that I can't that I can't be there? Cause he white and I'm black. We 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 partner organizations. We're partnered. Like we're partnered. Oh, like if, if I'm not legitimate because I'm black. I just want to film. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do. I do. Officer, I'm sorry. Officer Davis of the Missouri State Police, let me go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. Which one of these are you saying from all your life? When in drugs, we have out there smoking crack. That's my granddad. Can't you see the resemblance? She mixed. Oh, um, no, he's dead. Well, that was my granddad. I got a biracial family. I got Russians in my family, man. Nobody on my team threatening to do anything, but you're welcome to watch it to yourself. I got Russians in my family. Back in slavery days, you might have black in you, but you don't know. I'm not turning this into a race issue at all. You guys no, but I'm just right. saying. It is a race issue. Well, to you, I when guess it is. When a police kill an innocent young man in the street, and, and he's still you. running loose. All right. That's the issue. How many, 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 how Hard work, right? Do the job the right way. Thank you. How you doing? Are they keeping in the feet? That's what's up. Keep your ass in the feet. That's what I did. I picked the man. You are not highly intelligent. Now, if it's not about race, if it's not about race, tell me this. What is how many? How many young white men and women unarmed have been killed, shot down by the police department? No. Great question. That crazy ass white boy shot up the whole goddamn hey, movie theater and made, hey, and made bombs many, around here supporting me like a terrorist attack. They didn't do shit to him but take him to jail. This dude almost blew up the cops going department. to his apartment. Come on now, really? You, you have it? Uh, you don't have it. Why? Why? Why don't you have ideas? You, you, never, you never heard of that before, have you? Y'all just need to get an understanding of black people. It's not a big protest. It's okay to admit it. Black people are killing white people. All right, you know what? Maybe they can help you out. You guys heard of a case like that before? What do you I mean, mean in you guys heard of a, a white, a young white male or a white woman that been gunned down in the street by a police officer in the United what States of America? What about one of your children? Have you? How would you like that? Have you? So of course, his face like, that don't happen. Have you? All right, that's what I thought. So don't sit here and say there ain't no racist. Well, okay, go get Darren Williams. Don't say that. Darren Williams. We'll not say that. Now take back and Google it. Take back and Google it. Y'all not going to say it. Ask him like this. They can't say it. They can't say it. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. But until then, we're not going to do this shit every day. I'm just saying, every day, these people not going to do it. You know, we're all there. We know it ain't going to happen. We're all there. Don't you know, we know. I don't care what y'all charge me. We know. Because right. I talked to you earlier Why? today. I wonder if you're going to say the same <laughs> thing now on camera. <laughs> Why you out here buying pieces for again from this piece of thing? Because I like the pizza. You lying, man. What do you say? You raise the money. You I thought it was a fundraiser. If you want to support them, then you support them. They were talking about, no, earlier they told me it was a fundraiser and that all the money that they made were going to, was going to the food bank. And then they said that they were here for a high school reunion, um, but like, not a class reunion, just all, apparently all the white people who went to that high school. Who said that? There was a gentleman out here. Yeah, so there was a gentleman out here in a van with a yellow shirt earlier offering pizza to everybody and these were the claims that he was making. And so it's just, it seems like, I don't know, I don't understand. It's just inconsistent. And for you to support this you support this owner, it says the lack of integrity and character you got. And not only did he pull a gun, he pulled a gun in front of a police right officer. What the I hell? absolutely did. There's footage all over the internet about it. He didn't feel for nothing. He came out of the car. Even if we had our guns, we wasn't even on the side of the street. He came out with the gun. And no officer 
And he don't have to explain that shit. Cause he's white. He can do that. With the police saying it. No problem. We all gotta go before God one day. And meet you. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah,
it's absolutely ridiculous that that is still a mindset yeah. in this day and age. So, but when I see it on my stream, and then I'm there like this, I'm not surprised. It's just ridiculous and disappointing. It's funny because I thought that was like an actual conversation. I was like, what have you seen me do? You've seen it on the news. Yeah, I haven't done anything else. But I stood there. And that's it. You, you, you. You a nigga lover, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The low income is. Man, get your piece and go back to your cesspool. You know they don't care, but all they want to do is rile y'all up, so they got an excuse. If y'all want to stay focused for Mike Brown, y'all shouldn't get distracted by these people. You have to take my word. Let's talk to him. Can we talk to this guy? Can we get him on camera and ask us why he laughs at us three times in a row? Are you down here like a hand? We can have him. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I really think I think that this is a distraction to the protesters. I feel like it's dangerous because it is incentivizing, not incentivizing, instigating um, an escalated situation. And it takes away from the focus of what is happening with the Mike Brown and Darren Wilson incident. But it also highlights the fact that racism is a very prevalent issue. And even when I see the comments in my thread, it's like the amount of denial of some people. Um, it's just mind blowing. I'm almost speechless. Almost. I told you. Wait, wait, wait. It's not about race, but the guy who's just supporting uh, Franchi's and yelling at Nick called him a race traitor. Yeah. So if it's not about race, then why is that? In I walked to the car and he said he was going to shoot me, beat me with his framing hammer and leave me in the creek. <laughs> but I'm like, race traitor. But I'm like, mind you, Nick is with the media. Yeah. He's come as a support system for us as streamers. We're partnered with Argus News. Oh. Is it not his job? Are you yeah. a reporter? Wait, you know, you okay, give me your card. I, I don't have my card, but I can write down. Okay, something. okay I don't have any. Write it down. Write, write my stuff down for her and give it to her or something. Uh, on what? I don't have shit. Bella Echo show? Yeah, just give it her Bella Echo so she can look it up. I'm not going to 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 i I got an email address. I mean, you, you can give me my, I give you my number. Because I got a story to tell about what happened to me in the county court. Hold this. You came home, home and I'm about to write down my name. I became home. No, no, no. You call me. Because I get a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay. And since I've been here, I pray that a lot of people are here to talk to mainstream media on camera. Because their interviews are being edited. So I don't know if that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, because they're not only doing it, killing us, they're putting us in the streets, making us homeless. How is systemic? It's right. systemic. Uh -huh. It's crippling in every aspect of our government. I tried to escape for 22 years of being married. I had a student reporter last night and told me that, okay, I didn't understand how the divorce is going. So I just got a lawyer. Okay, you know, Michael Burton, he presided over me and my divorce. He gave my ex two houses. It's pretty hard. A brown I totally yes, I I I'm my kids, everything that I worked hard, because I had one of them with me that hated on me, that turned my kids against me, so I suffered tremendously to try to stay in that relationship for my children, to have a two-parent family.
But when I decided enough is enough, and I got a divorce, after struggling, what's up, Mel? I'll tell you another one. It's not mainstream media, it's just being a person. They left me in the street. When I come, I introduce who I am. I don't just being mainstream media. I don't point in. I don't point in your face. And I had a rental house. And say things about you. I ask. What's your name, bro? Nick. Hey, Nick. Charlie. And I said, No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not itching. What's your name? I'm not responsible. 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 I'm not Everybody is on it, and everybody is on it. And the family court, when they took me back to court, when the judge didn't even else. recognize, I can only didn't even myself. consider that. And my Who are you? What are you doing? He just told me to refinance the house. You know, so he's gonna guy hanging out. But I'll call you. Having okay, a look, yeah, just like you. Email me. You're Charlie's man. Oh, you work for Fox. Okay, yeah, I work for Fox Television. What do you do for Fox? Look it up. Do, you, do your work. <laughs> Okay, it's a lot of responsibility. Hey, that's a lot of responsibility. Do your work. Sorry, man. It really isn't, though, because you can take parts out of something and coach them, but then you can also have a mentor. I think everybody does. It's a lot of responsibility. How old are you? How are you? How old are you? How are you? You're 19 years old, right? Yes, I am. I'm 48. Okay. Right. So where you grew up at? In Ferguson. In Ferguson, where? Yes, sir. Where? Where? I'm, where? I'm telling you, I'm telling you flat out. I know where I'm from. I'm asking you where you from. I'm not being Don't here. come up here and try to stunt. Don't raise your voice. Right. I'm, I can do what I want to do. I'm a man. Okay. I'm a man too. Right. I'm a man just I got, like you. Like you got your hand crossed, I'm crossed. I'm a man just like right. you. Right. Exactly. You're a boy. I'm a man. You're a boy. You're 19. He a young man. He's a young man. A young man. Right. I'm a right. young man. You know, they ain't like have no you. sense. No, I don't know where he's from. I'm a young and he's not from here. Just like you. Okay. I got a job just like you. Exactly. But I'm I'm going home and go to bed. Me too. Right. So get there. You get there. I'm going to bed. Don't worry about me. Like you I got you. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. He talked to me first. I'm not talking to him. Right. But you seem, real but you seem real disrespectful though. But you seem real disrespectful though. Then I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, this 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 is my people's spot. Okay. But you know, he pulled a gun out on peaceful protesters and it was all over the nose, right? If you come to my house, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, but this is a place of business. Nice. Where you at? We was out here. We was out here. They was on the sidewalk. Was, they was on the sidewalk. That's still your we pay for this. If you come on my, I pay for my property and when you okay. walk on my sidewalk. That's I'm public, public though. Like you don't own a sidewalk. You don't own a sidewalk, man. I love my sidewalk. You're right. Look, they got like, they got like, they got so many cops up the street. Hey, you need to leave. It's hella police. Well, the police is about to fuck everybody up over at the police department right now. We out. I don't want to leave. Hey, get Josh out of here, y'all. What is he doing? Hey, go grab Josh. Go get Josh. Go get Josh. So, the police, they're like, they're like 30 uh, to 50 police. I, I, there are hella police over here. I gotta go. Yeah, y'all heard that bird in the sky. Y'all heard that helicopter. Okay, so they are divided. They are divided. They officially, the protesters have officially been divided between the two locations by this distraction. I, I simply, I can't run, y'all. Y'all not. I, I, I just don't have the energy. Um, I'm walking as fast as I can to try to get down there, though. They're at the police. Yeah, they're coming. They're getting prepared. Why are they running? What's going on? Because it's hella police down here. This is a distraction. They got everybody split up now. It's strength in numbers. They need to come on. Don't say shit to me, fucking white bitch. Tell me some. We got some hash browns and chicken. Now, see, if I was in Oakland, I would have fucking slapped the shit out that bitch. But you know what? That's what, it's a tactic. They want us to lose control and do shit like that so they have an excuse and I'm not giving it to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh? 
It's on YouTube, you stream, several different other people's mirror mirror it. So it's like external battery? Huh? You use external battery? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it is. I have, I have my colleagues in there at the office, like following all, all, all their lives. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, but you being real disrespectful trying to tell him what to do. He a young, young man, and he actually is from Ferguson. That's why I'm like, it's like almost, some black people be so programmed to be ready to be the token. Oh, you're not from here because I don't know you. Because I know all the black people, and I know what all the black people think. This is fucking stupid. You know that it's always the goal to document, but as a human being, when I see them being set up, I can help them and give them a warning because I do have people listening to the scanner. I do have people giving me information that is imperative. Uh, Because they expect me to be the angry, ignorant black woman that resorts to violence. Yeah, but she just yelled at me that she got hash brown and fried chicken, which is fucking hella racist. What, do I look hungry? Or is it that all niggers eat hash brown and fried chicken? So it wasn't racist, it wasn't not cool. Um, it was not cool for her to say it. It's like all these trolls and shit over here talking about where the watermelon at, it's the same thing. And none of them had a nerve to say it in my face. So I'm about to stop feeding you trolls, y'all about to starve tonight. Everybody say hi to Nigel. 
We shut shit down. We shut shit down. The bottom we fall. 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 Turn up the. There's children in this crowd. It's these children and those children. You understand? Like, they're not violent. They're upset and passionate about what they want.
I'm about to go get my here, here, here. Oh, okay. I'm I gotta walk to the car to get my battery charge plugged in this time, y'all. I'm going to go plug up one of my battery chargers. Uh, because it's important that I keep charge. Hands up, don't shoot. Thank you. It was getting them, girl. That's my girl. You be getting them. Ah, she's my girl. Thank you. You be getting them for us, Thank you. They've been on some racist shit down there. Come on, some white power. Oh, white power? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I can't fuck around. I'm telling y'all, I'm getting so much love and support from the people in Ferguson that it's overwhelming. I just need y'all know that. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, right, y'all. I'm trying not to shut down. Neil showed up 45 minutes late. All right, there we go. All right, I just started charging again. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm telling you, I got like 15 mosquito bites. It's a little calmer on this side. Uh, definitely got a lot of the youth in the parking lot over there. So really in reality, right here. Oh, that's a good thing. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, this is not Metro Thank you, Courtney. You're doing an amazing job, love. <laughs> Y'all told Nick and Sasha to bring me water. They bought four cases. I say you are for who? 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 I say
People have always been a celebratory culture. Um, TNT, we know drama is only being traditionally white cultures that got off on that. We celebratory even in debt. We're going to make sure that we stand together and create community. But under this sort of systemic oppression, it's very difficult to do that. So that's why when I come out here and I see the black youth of Ferguson going in together, I can appreciate that. And there's no amount of racist trolls who are going to make me stop feeling the love. because we human, but at the end of the day, we want, you can't break us, because if you could, it would happen already. Right. Right. And we that y'all don't know how to function through this. Right. American people, black people, how to function through this. Yeah. All the time. We have, what choice do we have? Hold on. We had to suffer through slavery and survive. There you go. <laughs> and we still here. Thank you, Courtney. You're awesome. I appreciate everybody's um, extra help. Thank you for helping Courtney uh, monitor the chat. It's become extremely overwhelming, which definitely means that we are doing something very powerful here. Um, so suck one, haters. This is what's up. <laughs> Thank you, STL gal, 36. Hey, Josh, there's some people on my stream that's saying that they grown black men and dude made them want to beat his ass because he was hella disrespectful to you. <laughs> um, so there you go, y'all. I told Josh. You can get him get at him on Twitter at <laughs> The Real Josh95. The Real Josh95. Um, go ahead and have some conversations with this strong young black man right here. <laughs> So you got Bassam. These are streamers here. Can you tell everybody what's your name who don't know already? Uh, Bassam Mastery. Okay, so can you spell it so they can follow you on Twitter? Uh, B-A-S-S-E-M underscore M-A-S-R-I. Okay. Would you like to advertise your stream on my stream so people will know who out here? Yeah, they can go to my page and follow my page. What's your page? Justice for Mike Brown. Justice for Mike Brown? Yeah, 29,000. Okay, it's a... Uh, it's on Twitter or no, Facebook. Face, Facebook Justice uh, for Mike Brown 
Is the twenty nine thousand a part of the name of the page? Or? Yeah, no, I'm at twenty nine thousand followers right now. Oh, okay, that's what's up. <laughs> right on. So you can follow Justice for Mike Brown. So we got Anon Ops Pro Bassem underscore I'm sorry. Um, Justice for Mike Brown, Argus News, and Bella Echo. You also got Sasha streaming here. So there are definitely a lot of streamers. Uh, doubt that you are going to run out of perspectives this evening. If the police decide they're going to descend on the crowd, there will be lots of media coverage. No problem. I just know that if I sleep, eat, and drink, that I won't say um so damn many times. <laughs> Need a second to collect my thoughts right about now. Hi, C Dub. I love you. Thank you so much for keep watching my stream. I mean, I love all of y'all. I know C Dub from my personal life. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me and doing this. Um, it means a lot to me. And the support and the visual of uh, being so visual means a lot to everybody here. Brittany and Alexis are an inspiration. Who is Brittany and Alexis? No, who's Brittany? Alright, well, okay. We got news media out here. Oh no, oh, Getty Images. Okay, Getty Images, thank you. Um, she came out here to record some, or take some pictures. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hey, you. Hey. Hey. Posted up doing it for Mike Brown, RP, Mike B. You gonna see, we gonna make a change in 2014. That's right. Everybody say hi to the front line. This ain't all of them, but God, this is damn show a lot of them right here. Yeah. Everybody at Occupy Oakland who was on the front line, y'all know what that means. This is the front line right here. Turn it up. You know what I mean? Turn up, don't turn down. Y'all even know. Turn down for what? You hear me? Yes. <laughs> How many people are out here? Uh... <laughs> Thousand in a couple of hours. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe about a hundred, 150 people spread across the bubble in the parking lot. Did you interview Robert? Yeah. Oh, like I, oh, like I there? No. He got picked up today by the cops, detained. And he, the cop went inside and said, what the fuck are you doing with those cameras? That's Robert. Right. The police picked you up? No. No. No? No. I, I got, I semi-kicked myself out of the town hall. Um, they say there's no recording, no streaming at, at these town halls. I forgot. Alexis Templeton walked in. She is the leader, along with Brittany, I assert, of this whole thing. And she is a historic figure, and I'm trying to document. I snapped a picture. Guy behind me says, 
no recording. And I go, I forgot. And he goes, I don't believe you. And I said, well, you're accusing me of being a liar. I shall take my leave now. Uh -uh. I went outside and had a cigarette. Came back in with a smile. That's all. People thought I was mad. I'm just an intense guy. And I, I'm, you know, I'm dragged out here. I'm not getting food right. I'm not getting to work out. And I'm kind of at the end of my tether with what happened with my people in the street last night. I love those kids. Uh -huh. And I went home early. I thought it was going to be a, an okay night. I just wanted to take a break. And as soon as I got home, I turned you on and watched for four hours. And I spent the morning crying because I love Brittany and Alexis. So Brittany was the one I was interviewing. She was sitting in that chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. That's what I wanted to tell you. You got to pay attention to those two. They are the absolute leaders. I, I guess some people get upset that I'm, you know, pointing that out explicitly. It's just the truth. I'm concerned for their lives as well. Brittany is going to say some amazing things, and that's what I got out of that when she was screaming about structural racism. Yeah, last, that was beautiful last night. It was. And I think it's having an effect. I think love is working. People are really paranoid. But Ron, jo Ron Johnson doesn't have a lot of authority Albert here. Albert Ferguson Police Department. But he has sway when they go back there and talk. What about when you come And in I here? think... <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that some of the authorities have positive feelings towards these kids and they don't want to see harm come to them. They won the night last night. I was scared to death and they, it, it worked. For one night they got the police to change their behavior. And maybe that can transfer, continue. I believe we're winning. It's a long, tough slog. But we're getting, it's building, it's growing. There's something happening here. I, this is my hometown. I was born and raised to play a part in something like this. I can't believe it popped off in my hometown. But I think it shows how bad it is. We're right in the middle of the country. And for some reason, which I've been trying to figure out for weeks, is how did St. Louis get so bad on race? I've lived in Arkansas. I thought it was worse. I've had a lot of black folks recently say they've lived in Arkansas and Little Rock and they think it's better than here. I can't figure out how we got so twisted here. It's a real backwater, very retro. Would you um, invite people on Twitter to continue to have this conversation with you and let them know what your Twitter is? People are interested in what you're saying. Yeah. I, I go straight out under my name. I want everybody to know what it is. It's Bob, Bob Hudgens underscore talking. Hudgens, H-U-D-G-I-N-S. Uh, it is capital B and then capital H. Bob underscore Hudgens. H U D G I N S on Twitter. Yep. That'll be at B O B underscore H U D G I N S. Yep. Okay. Some people know who you are. They, they over here talking about Bob Hudgens is talking right now. <laughs> they know who you are. <laughs> That's cool. It's good to see you good, out good here. Good to see you. I miss my flight. I got to go home more. <laughs> I, I wish you didn't. I wish you lived here. I, really I, I wish I lived here too. But I will be back for the for a big weekend, and I'm gonna try to stay a little longer to just help do whatever I can. You know. I got a I got a one year old boyfriend. <laughs> he take up all my time. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I, I was actually very blessed uh, to have the opportunity to come out here and have people that supported me enough to watch my baby while I'm out here. They watching the stream, that. they're tweeting me. I do uh, Skype chats with them three times a day if I can. Um, you know, he's watching the stream and my babysitters are like, he's going mum, 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 mum. <laughs> so I'm like, 
it's too early in my opinion to bring him to something like this because it's too volatile and I can't guarantee his safety. But I still want him to be exposed to fighting the good fight. I want yeah. this to be normal for him. I don't want accepting injustice to be normal for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And whatever I accept during his upbringing, he will see as normal. You know what I mean? So I got to make sure that I don't continue that vicious cycle. You know what I mean? So yeah. I don't have a choice. I got to be here. That's this, I don't have a choice. People don't understand that, you know? That's great. Yeah. I lived in Palo Alto for one year when I was a little kid. Uh, okay. You're probably not very close to that. No, no, no. Palo Alto is quite a ways away. Yeah. Yeah, it's at least an, at least an hour drive. Wow. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hi, baby. Speaking of which, my baby's watching. <laughs> Hi, baby. Mommy's, mommy is okay, and she's just filming the crowd. Everything is calmed down for now. Okay, y'all, I got to do a shot for my baby. Hi, baby. Mommy misses you. Hi, baby. <laughs> Send me some pictures, shifts, so when I shut down the stream, I can see them, please. Like, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why so much opposition for something that's empowered by love? Can I record this conversation? It sounds awesome. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm on TV a lot. Today. Okay. <laughs> Against my will, all of that, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't do this to be on TV and stuff like that, so it's fine. But people actually can record me. I guess I'm saying something intelligent, so. I mean, yeah, and honestly, people need to hear it. You know what yeah. I mean? And CNN is not going to post it, but no. I'll let you say whatever it dog. is that you yeah. need to say. The show, cause the news does not talk about it. I don't get to see the news very often because usually I don't get in the house until eight in the morning, nine in the morning, I go to sleep. But when I do get to see the news, the segments on this are incredibly short. Exactly. So short that it's like it's and misleading. Like happening. It's like it's like, are you serious? And now I can understand why people aren't here because there's people watching the news and they're like, ah oh, man, those people are nuts. Like what are they doing out there? Because that's what it looks like. In one minute they try to sum up everything and it just makes it look like chaos it just makes it look crazy because usually they show the one time it got crazy is what they show like when when people got riled up and then they show that and then that's the end of the segment and that's what people see that's what the world is seeing it just doesn't make any sense and that's why they're able to boil it down to something that's happening in ferguson that's also another reason why people need to stop talking to the mainstream media because they will clip out your interviews and make it fit their narrative I said that. and you can see what side they own because they hide they, behind the police exactly. and before the police get ready to do things to you they, they leave, leave. Right. I, I said I said that we need to cheat the regular we need to cheat the media like the police. Exactly, they are the police. Exactly. CNN, when those gunshots happened yesterday, immediately started pointing at people in the crowd as if the gunshots came from the crowd. But they didn't. But they didn't. Yeah, and they you can tell by the reaction of the police, the police department. Because they didn't. They didn't even the move. They, they didn't accept that. Like they waited actually to have a, a order to step back. Exactly. So what what does that mean? Like I said, the media is part of the police. I've I've been saying that since day one that we need to treat the media like the police. Police, because I had, a, I had a media person tell me um, it had to be the third day in. He tells me, I guarantee you that you guys will not be out here. Be because they, they, they have an agenda as well. Like they think this is funny, they think it's a joke. When they come in, they don't come with their heart, they come with pen and pad. Right to do a job and so they're the same as these people because you know what and you know that they don't have any journalistic inter integrity because when the police say that you need to stay in a designated media zone and that you need to reroute they do that they do it instead of instead of standing we, up. your job is to stay with the people because you're supposed to be telling the story of, of the, the people. people but instead you're telling the police story exactly you're telling the police so story. if the police want to get story they can watch my stream just like in mainstream media want a story they can watch my stream because exactly. i'm gonna be right here right here asking the people what's really happening exactly so people what's really happening and that's what i'm saying right no more i don't really like to talk to the regular media when they ask yeah. me interviews and stuff i usually say no yeah because i know that they're going to spin it exactly. they're going to show one thing that i said to make it seem like I was radical or something like that. They're not gonna give the whole interview. And so people will only know a part of me. And then exactly. people will see me on the streets and stuff like that. It, it well, then they misrepresent you. Right, it right. messes with my integrity as a person. And exactly. Like that, and I just, can't, I just can't trust them. Just so like I got a lot of people who are very interested in what you're saying. Um, they are citizen journalists as well. Okay. And they're asking if you have an email or a Twitter handle so they can get in contact with you and oh, maybe do it. My email is br underscore sneed at yahoo.com. I do not but have But you a got arrested. Yes, I did. I filmed I, you being arrested. Yes. Yes, you did. I was do. screaming yeah. 
Um, what's your name? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> okay, everybody, this is the young man's uh, last name, Sneed. Yep. He got arrested. We were trying to Two make sure. Ago, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good to see you out, brother. Yeah, thank you. It good wasn't that bad. Out. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever been through. Like I said, I'm a black person in America. Every day is like being in jail. Like literally, when I was in right. jail, there was a bed. I'm like, shit, this is a time for me to take a nap. I've been going hard, and then when I woke up, <laughs> I need it's sleep. time to get out. You right. Know? So I mean, it wasn't that bad. And like I said, it's a shame though that as a young black male, I felt like I was going to see a prison one day, and I did. Right. That's, that's shameful, you know. Right. I don't have any felonies. I don't have any records. I'm not a bad kid. I'm not out here trying to cause mischief. I'm just fighting for something I believe in. I've never been a gangster. I've never been a thug, any of that stuff. But I'm out here on the front line. If I'm going to combat somebody, I'm going to combat them. Exactly. Because they're oppressing me. Exactly. My brother on the street is not oppressing me. He's just hurt right. like me. Exactly. He wants to live a better life. Exactly. So when people keep talking about this black on black crime, when, when white people kill each other, it's just crime. What is black on black crime? Exactly. People, people commit crimes on the people they see. So if you only see black people, you're going to commit crimes against black people. And if you only see white people, you're going to commit crimes against white people. It's statistically proven that crimes that take place are usually done in the same race. It's not, it's not an interracial crime. It's not like a black man against a white man, a white man against a black, black man. It's usually of the same race. And so that's why, though, you know, if you put crabs in the bucket, they're going to pull, pull each, each other down. down. But I'm more interested in who put the crabs in the bucket right. in the first place. So. Or who keep moving shit so we can't keep up. Right, exactly. Um, what, so they're asking me to get you to spell your email. They like exactly young brother. They feeling you. OK, um, like I said, it's B-R underscore S-N-E-E-D at Yahoo.com. All right, so that's B-R underscore S-N-E-E-D at Yahoo.com. We saw the police. Um, uh, pretty violently slam him on the ground and arrest him. Yeah, I got pretty beat up. I mean, I'm still pretty beat up right now. Like, my body's sore and stuff Did you like go to that. the hospital? I did not go to the hospital. You definitely always need to do that and document your injuries. No, serious. No, yeah, I know, yeah, because they, like, you know, you can um, you can get some stuff and stuff like that. But, I mean, I just didn't feel like I'm going to keep it funky. I mean, I was extremely tired. And the way I see it is, like, I was out here yesterday, last night. I almost went to jail again. So, damn, I'm going to be going to the hospital every night. I don't. I don't really have time for it. I, I have Crohn's disease. I've been going to the hospital a lot in my life. I don't okay. really. I don't really fuck with hospitals. I'm on the shit list. I know for sure if I go to the hospital, they might put something in my IV. I don't really trust. They them. might give you Ebola. Yeah, they might give me Ebola. There's cases of Ebola happening in America right now. I don't want it. That might start the zombie apocalypse. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust. <laughs> it. I don't trust it. How you doing? How you doing? What's going on? I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. I don't trust anything, and that's shameful. And I know I'm not the only one. And so therefore. Get your ass out here, man. Do something. Don't be scared. It's not about, if you do nothing, you're scared. If, if when you do nothing, nothing happens. This will come to your couch. Even. If you, Anna, if you do nothing, you are still guilty of the action of inaction. Yeah, exactly. You could have done something. Exactly. And if you do nothing, this will come to your couch. It, you, you will not be safe from it. Doing nothing does not mean that you are safe from the problem. It doesn't. If there's war going on outside, not being a part of the war is to stop you from being killed. You have to do something. You cannot do anything. I know everybody's not a warrior. Everybody's not a soldier. Everybody doesn't want to go to jail. Everybody doesn't want to go to jail. But you can do something. You know, I'm hungry as shit. I need a job. I lost my job. I lost my car. Like, do something. There's stuff that can be done because I'm doing this, you know? But I'm saying, because you know what? Everybody understand. I keep saying that, like, if I let my little job with my meaningless wage where I can barely afford to take care of myself, myself off of it, anyway. and then that's the reason why I won't stand up for the injustices committed against my people, that's, then we in a sad fucking world. Yes, that means that I don't value the life of black people At over a, a hourly wage yes, that don't even allow me to survive. I told, I told the cops that yesterday. I said, I mean, the other day when I got arrested, I said, man, I'm out here doing what I want to do for who I want to do it for and for what I want to do it for. You're collecting a fucking paycheck. You're, you're working for someone. But you look at me and say that I'm scum, that I'm nobody. No, you're nobody because you ha you need someone to tell you how to be a good person. I had a cop tell me, man, I'm a good person. I give CPR. I say, man, you can do that shit without that badge and that gun. That's exactly what you can do. I'm a good person. But you know what? You're not just a good person. You're a scared person. And that's why you have that gun and that badge. Because you don't want to just do good. You also want to control what's happening. Because right. you're a scared person because you know that you have no power. Your energies are low. And I'm sorry, that, that goes for all of them. And that doesn't mean that one of them isn't a good person. But when the team fucks up, you have to, everybody has to feel it. I mean, it does mean that they aren't good people because if they stand on that line with them uniforms and they get the order to shoot into the crowd with children, they, do they gonna do it. So right. you're not a good person because if you was a good person, you, you didn't sign it. up for this shit and you would fucking quit. You because when you take your oath as a police officer, you vow to uphold the Constitution as the highest law in the land, which specifically states that we have access to our First Amendment rights, which does not have a mobility clause. Right. Okay, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Like, wow. shit like that. So they're in direct violation of the oath that they took already. Exactly, yeah. But see, that's the thing about it, and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, look, you may be a good guy, Mueller, but you sit next to a fucking guy every day that you know is not a good guy. And you not only do you know that, you tolerate it. You don't do anything about it, so that makes you not a good guy. 
cop because right you know that that guy will come out here and grab me and slam me on the ground and bust my head and shit and you do nothing yeah you 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 part of a brotherhood yeah there's a code so you guys are the biggest gang you're a bigger gang than crips bloods all that um let's talk about the fact that uh the police department mainly consisted of the kkk in the first in the first place, place. that's why I, I told them that as well i'm like most of you guys don't even know the history of what you were yeah i mean know your history because that is what it is for something that you don't know the history from they traded in seats why are we still celebrating for, columbus uh, day for teach, I mean, for, Come for on now. up shirts <laughs> and slacks. Like, I'm not confused by to that. To make it look more presentable to yeah, the people. Yeah, exactly. To make it more acceptable because this, the, the sheets and shit was too, was too, was too spooky. It was too scary, you know? It was it was unacceptable. It, it, it wasn't something that fit into mainstream society. But a man dressed in a collared shirt with a button up all the way to the top, you know, with a with a tie on and some fucking slacks, he can get away with a lot more, you know? Well, if he's if he's a white man or if he works for the cops, because I mean I, I I can't even get together. I don't even job. know, cause I just feel like if you I just feel like they you want to motherfuckers like to call the white people to come out here and support us race traders, but they're human they're human they're activists. Human. Yeah, they're human yeah. they're humanitarians. I call y'all race traders. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I call you a race trader because you see black youth standing together in solidarity, educating themselves, very intelligent, fighting for yeah. their rights. And you will fucking subject them to all to, kind to, of shit. To violence it's and that up of time scenario. Yeah, exactly. I'm hey, working for mass. When I got arrested, when I got arrested the other day, the first person that grabbed me was a black man. And I felt like in the way that he grabbed me, it was planned. Because I looked I looked to my left for I kid you not, like maybe one second. I looked forward, he turned his head like this as to receive a signal. They did like this, and then he turned back and grabbed me. Right. Like he like he knew in his mind that I he wanted me. But it's the same thing. That's why they got What's his name? Johnson? Oh, this is Howard Jordan. Okay, y'all, this is Johnson, right? Um, that's why they got the black man to come out and be the spokesperson and do the press conference they first. When they claim that we attacked, we attacked the chief, too. You know what I'm saying? The black dude was in the crowd. He went rushing through the crowd first, the black dude. Now, mind you. Because they want you to be not right. be able to say that this is a race issue because it's yeah. a black police officer. But they do that because they don't want people to understand that this is a predominantly black city and that's a predominantly white police department. Yeah. They don't want us to see that. They don't want us to be able to like send that out. And so they try to control the narrative. And they, you know what I mean? A half ago, it was 53 officers. And 50 of them was white and three of them was black. So now that this ain't happened, they try to integrate it. But come on now, you bringing in the worst of the worst. The ones who don't like their own people, and they know this, they like, oh yeah, we gonna bring in the ones who don't like yeah, their the own people. Exactly, they we stand gonna show them that it's not just us, not just us, but yes it is, because those people are race traders, as you said, you know? But then it's like, then what you coming to come, first of all, as the other night, you're like, I'm coming to listen after I talk for 20 minutes, right? And then, what you coming to talk for, to us for if you don't have no control over the Ferguson Police Department? Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, you you just said you ain't got no control over that. You said the lion say you had no control over what was happening. But didn't, hold on, but didn't they appoint you because there were so much tensions between, between the people? Exactly. Like, I'm following the news at home. This is what you're telling my fuckers. He has, he has, he's a fucking liar, though. He has power because after we talked to him, you see they went back over there and they took their ass back there. Then they took their ass all the way in. So don't sit here and fucking lie to my face and tell me that you have no power, Mr. Ron Johnson. You're, you're, well, I mean, he's a puppet. He says what he think he thinks will um, be a happy medium. Yeah. yeah. That's his job. That's what they pay him for. It's like, Ron, go out there and get everybody to calm down, Ron. But it's just not working anymore, Ron, because we know you, man. I mean, we know about you. Send the token nigger to go talk to the rest of them and speak that monkey language and calm exactly. them down. Yeah, no, for calm real. Down. Exactly. For real. Exactly. And if y'all don't understand that, then it's white privilege that's stopping you from understanding that. Yes. I'm not saying we not racist. We got white people out here. We love them. We love them. That's not what we talking about. It's we highlighting the fact that it's a race issue for them. Not us. White people, I've been on my whole, when I, when, for my whole life. And then I got some that I adopted as family. I got little white nieces and nephews, just as well. I got black and nieces and nephews. It ain't no, it ain't about racism. It's not about race. It's about the fact that we caught up in the system. And then you know what? That's part of the system to make you think the way we talking and the way we feel is racist. When everybody should feel like that, really, in actuality, why is it like that for them? But it's, it, it, no, it, no, it's a known fact that there's a social stigma between white and black people. Everybody right. know that. Right. You know because what? We directly compare in America. You're not always comparing black people to Hispanics or black people to Asians. No, black people and white people are synonymous with one another. And that's because, that's for a reason. That's because of systematic racism, white supremacy, all of that, right? Because they know that they know that all of this shit really belongs to us, man. And they know that they brought us here. They know that we have superpowers and all of that shit. Because they just sent us out in places to build shit with no food, no sleep. And the shit got done and nobody died. 
So they know that type of shit. You know, they've seen us do things. The other day, dude, I was out here, I tipped over the goddamn fire hydrant. I did a whole backflip and landed on my feet. They probably have binoculars watching this shit. Like, goddamn, look at these niggas. They some extra special people. And then we have to keep them. But we've been conforming to their ways and regulations for years. You know, we build up, you know what I'm saying, just as a people, just black people in general, we help build America. You know what I'm saying? And we get treated like less of America. We still exactly. three fifths of the Constitution of America. The same place that we help build, just like anybody else, just like Irish or anybody else that's praised in this country. You know what I'm saying? We help build it just like them. So why are we less of a people? Right? How do we get treated? When, 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 you check out our race. We okay. Y'all don't want to acknowledge we have been. Guess what we did? We fell back and we conformed to the system. And we got beat up and thrown under the bus, under the bus, where they trying to shun us out and then and trying to separate us. However, they separate us, but yet and still though, all we do is let But we the bad. Of course, after a while, you gonna be tired of just sitting back. Listen, if I smack you with a stick one time. Oh, like, I don't oh, like that hurt the first time, yeah. and then you gonna leave it alone. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Right? But when I come smack you that second time with you the stick, you, you not gonna sit there and just oh, let it go. Simple, it's simple, it's simple, but if you go to somebody's house and they have a chihuahua and that chihuahua bite the shit out of you, the first time you might be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Chihuahua bit me. But if you go to someone else's house and another chihuahua bites you, you will no longer fuck with chihuahua. The third person's house, when you go over there, you go, damn, you got a chihuahua, you ain't that motherfucker. Right, get it. Get it before I fuck it up. I'm gonna fuck the chihuahua up. And that's them. Because when I was young, I, I trusted police. You just said like, I, when something was happening, I'm like, oh shit, gotta call the police. But the older I got, the more I realized. Hey, if you curse that you wrong, I'll call the police. That's just me being a little kid. Oh, you curse me, I'm call the police. I'm like, you can't call the police for that. Right. But then when I start seeing that you'll call the police and they'll come and do something to you. Exactly. Uh, you show up, like that's ridiculous. Like, I called you like, what? What? what I called you for, bro? What did I call you? Nothing. I called you for shit. You for nothing. You know what I'm saying? In fact, not only you for nothing, I feel like you don't like it. You're against it. You know what I mean? And they are. They are. But they tell us in so many ways that they are against us. Because they view us as all criminals. And shit. Because like, if I trusted you one, once upon a time, you're going to tell me that I've just been a criminal my whole damn life? No, like, no. I trusted you. I grew up to learn not to fucking trust you. Just like anything else. Hold on, y'all grew up learning not to trust us. Exactly. Anybody ever look up nigger in a wood pile? Right. That shit is in a dictionary. Y'all grew up not trusting us. Mm -hmm. Nigger in a wood pile means what? Something um to not be trusted. But listen, Snake, listen. you know what I'm saying? Nigger in a wood pile. That's in Merriam-Webster's dictionary. Listen. That's what I like. You study, no, but study that. Nigger wasn't a word before slavery. Yeah. You just made this word. You just, oh yeah, we don't. Well, they come from, you know what it actually comes from? They come from a child. Like, me guys child. So, but they took it in white people, you know what I'm saying? They, you know how they talk and stuff like that. So it became, it became a nigger. Yeah, it was not a word. word. Right, Before yeah. Before slavery, that was never, nobody ever even used that term, ever. Like, it wasn't even so, when the first person said, yeah, we gonna call them niggas. And then it spread it. But That's how it became a thing. In Spanish, it's like a... That's what I say, it's like... No, God. they grow. In Spanish, it's for black. black. Yes. Yeah, they grow. But that comes from what he said. So, 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 so there's a language called thug life, and now I mean, it's never ignorant getting those problems. Yeah, that's the new definition.
So in Oakland, we used to have a side show. And really what it was is all the youth in the city would just get together and come hang out and have a good time. Um, and so a lot of our cars would come out and, I mean, traffic laws were completely ignored, but it would be 2.30 in the morning. Like, we gathering on the sidewalks, we eating, we smoking. Did they doing donuts and stuff? It's like a car show, but it was a community gathering. So this right here, what I just saw was like a really close uh, emulation of that. But they just drove off. Like, that's why I was like, if this was East Oakland, that would happen. Everybody would stop. Doors open, music, somebody doing donuts right here, on and off the sidewalk, driving up the back street, and it's going down. Party time. You know what I mean? So I'm like, you know, it was close. It was it just seemed like a good time about to happen. <laughs> you know, but to the to the untrained eye, it looked chaotic and dangerous. You know what I mean? Look, Louis Loco, swing him. Go over there and get that once in a lifetime footage and little drummer boy. Oh. It ain't once in a lifetime, bro. Black, black. We black trucks. Yeah, but they are hit past. Go, Nigel. Come on, come on. 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 Oh, look at my son, look at my son, look at my son. Ain't he so my cute. Son. My son famous. <laughs> yeah. Type up, type up. Hold on, man. I can't. Good job, baby. Oh, 
say no game. Hit it again, Nigel. Hit it That's again. right, baby. Hit it again. There you go. Hey. 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 everybody so that's another stream that's out here tonight he was on the thread earlier and said he would be here and he is ah good job can we get a hand clap for the baby good job yeah thank you baby that was um completely amazing beautiful oh shit okay i stood up too fast i'm just gonna lean against you real quick huh what you do? Yeah, man, it's so cute. It was so cute ever. <laughs> you got some online applause going, little baby. Oh, that was you. <laughs> I just knew somebody was flicking my ponytail around. <laughs> hey, Nick. No, but we, uh, I'm sorry, it was not mine. We made a deal yesterday. I fulfilled my ends. <laughs> hey, what did I tell you? You better talk to her then. We talked about this. 
I was there, I thought I was waiting and I said it. Oh. Oh, I don't fucking know. Got Nigel, Nigel playing the music for y'all. <laughs> everybody's saying, Nigel, everybody is saying you did a wonderful job playing the drum, baby. Yeah. So cute. Look, everybody like, uh, Bella, tell them how much we love the little man. Go get an interview with the little drummer. <laughs> so while you're recording it, they can actually see that now? Oh, it's it's live. And I'll, later when I when I stop it, the recording will continue. So this is never an accurate count. There's pretty much always more than this. Like last, last night I went home, there were more than uh, 13,000 people who had watched the stream all night. So, um, I mean, this is beautiful. People can't deny deny this type of stuff what when they is the this is a U stream the letter U and then stream mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody know you now Josh okay. you famous you internet famous <laughs> I have to take care of everything. Forever, because it's Oh my god. You have to take care of everything. Forever. Forever. I know. If you ever get arrested, I will be there like, hey! I think you know. I know, I know. <laughs> I couldn't even control myself with this. Like, yo, I'm like, who are you talking They were yelling at me. I didn't like that. Uh, the white people are being white. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so <laughs> uh, one dude said I was an instigator, or it's all the same dude. He said I was an instigator, that I should go back home, and that uh, then like I walked away and I walked to my car by myself, and then he like follows me up and he's like, he like gets in my face and all, he's all like up in my face and shit, and I'm like, he's like, where are you from, motherfucker? I'm from St. Louis. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm like, I'm from Oakland, dude. But I came here for peace and love and to show everybody fucking support. And he's like, he's like, motherfucker, I'll put so much lead in you, I'm gonna take my framing hammer and beat your ass or some shit like that and put you in the creek and then he called me a race trainer. And I'm like <laughs> Sorry so I'm saying why the black police officers can't be race trainers if the white people sorry sister if the white people that's here to support us because they're humanitarians and we're humans like why are they race traitors? You see what I'm saying? Then you a fucking race trader pig. It's not equal. It's like, not a it's not evil. Like it's like, hey, y'all racist, but we're not. But we gonna say all type of racist stuff to y'all. But when y'all say it back, it's wrong. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, and then tell okay. me there ain't no white privilege. I, I put yeah. it perfect. It's oh, just like white people when they say, well, why come we can't say the N word if you guys can say the N word? It's just like that because are you guys are racist and then y'all call us racist because we say stuff like, man, the white people really be oppressing us or whatever. <laughs> but we ain't saying it's you particularly. We just say it this way. In general. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, like, you say, who in power? Then, like, if an alien came right now, say, take me to your leader. We gonna take him to some white man and be like this the loop, this dude the leader, cause we don't know who the leader. We'll take you to Barack Obama, he don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm just being real. Y'all know that's HJ at HJ underscore Rogers R L D G E R S on Twitter. Make sure you follow on him. Um Please, everybody, when you watch my streams, I'm giving you contact information for people on the front line who are here on the ground in Ferguson every single day and night. So if there is not a stream or you have questions about what's happening, don't look at MSNBC. Don't look at CNN and the L.A. Times and the Washington Post. You can speak directly to them. You know what I mean? And you can ask them questions. What do you need? What are you try um, trying to accomplish? Do you guys need help with this, that, and the other? So please, like, watch my stream. Take down the, the contact information I'm getting from people. And network. 
let's let's organize and communicate effectively and stop being isolated and subjected to various forms of oppression. Shit, I'm gonna recycle. You see, I'm holding my empty bottle, <laughs> yeah. drinking the bottle. I'm just I, talking shit. I know. Nick, can you hold it for me again? Because yeah. I gotta put I wanna put my jacket on. My backpack broke, y'all. I just tied it in the knot. Look, they get to finally look at you. It's not cold out here yet. I got a shirt off and it's not cold. <laughs> nah, it ain't really cold, but um y'all know I missed my flight and I didn't I ain't changed no clothes and so I'm just gonna cover my arms. Yeah, I was, playing, I was messing with your opponent. I kind of figured you. I didn't think you were going. I don't know if you were going to say nothing. So I just started playing with you. Turn around and look at them. If anyone needs the younger restroom, she's offering the restroom before they close. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, Subway. 15 minutes, we're closing. Thank you so much. Thank you. She was hella nice when I went in there to get my sandwich too. Where the fuck is, dude? Whatever. You know, and my, yeah, you know what? And because Newport targets black uh, neighborhoods. So, yeah, I know. Yeah, with their advertising. So, oh, you know, um, don't be surprised if it is a Newport East Mountain. Because you have to be. <laughs> no, it's just bullshit that's like, it's just fucking. It's but like, do you guys think I smoke Newports because I'm black? Or, I'm sorry, I smoke American spirits. <laughs> You gotta smoke a new port. No, you don't. Every day. A new port. And I'm quitting. The only reason why I'm here is, I mean, why I'm smoking is because I'm here and quitting smoking cigarettes and the stress of a process scenario is way too much all at once. So fuck it. And plus, That's a pussy right? Oh, all I know is that person is amazing. Yeah, um, that's uh, that's one of the members of Pussy. Not the person, but that picture is one of the members of Pussy. Right? There's like this guy called um, activist group in Russia. Oh, I already know about Pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah come on. They're amazing. Yeah, I got my flight is tomorrow. I gotta make it tomorrow. I, you got it. You ain't got no choice but to make it tomorrow. I gotta make that flight tomorrow. What time you be back tomorrow? I'm not sure that I'm coming back. I gotta go to the airport. I gotta get up and go to the airport. This guy right here, Pete, is that who Twitter are you looking for? I'm talking to one of my the people that are watching. They asking me for a Twitter. I'm trying to see if it's yours that they're asking me about. Pete, was that the guy that you uh, want his Twitter? Is that who you talking about? Okay, well, Pete, I don't know if that's what you're talking about. I can't see your comment, but his Twitter is HJ underscore Rogers, R O D G E R S. No, I can't miss my fight again. It really was a, a mistake. Um, I got there like two minutes too late to the gate, and the plane had already taken off. Huh? I need it back though, boo. You gonna get it right back. Oh, okay. So what I mean, LA? LA. Yeah, that's what I call it, LA. LA is eight hours away from where I'm at. We're California. Oh, shit. Same shit, different time. I'm gonna tell you now, if the cop is not charged, it's gonna be so many different types of misunderstandings. Tell them what happened. Uh, okay. We were just talking about the trolls on Twitter and stuff, right? How they be just be saying anything. Yeah, yeah. So, I oh, guess you be reading my stuff, stream. Right? So, I have, uh, I have this picture on my Twitter background that I took, and it was like a detective scene, and I got shot in my chest. So, they were sending around my picture talking about, I'm a martyr, and I support black-on-black -black crime. 
What? 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 I had no idea. I had to block them all. I didn't even know how to argue with that. I just let it go. Yeah, um, what I'm learning is just don't feed the trolls. Yeah, because they you know. pretty much just say anything, and when you give them facts, they just block you. That's it. When you start giving them facts, they don't know what to say. So, I mean, it's one thing to be a troll. It's another thing to be an uneducated troll. I mean, but usually trolls are uneducated. Yeah. They're facts. Are not facts. Well, no, they are educated because they believe anything you tell them. What I like to say is trolls are isolated and hella ugly, and that's why they live under bridges. They really, <laughs> I'm convinced they sleep in their parents, but I mean, and you miserable. Can get on YouTube and watch a video or some some. But my thing is, in the forest you've got to be trolls. fucking miserable to come see stuff like this I'm and sorry, be like hella racist and talking hella shit. You know what I mean? Like these children out here. And, and as a black people in this country, we have constantly been beat down. So when you see young black youth come together and stand in solidarity and are hella passionate and are e educated, but also educating themselves even further as far as like activism and the history of that people, you know what I mean? Like, how are you mad at that? I mean, how can you be mad at the whole thing? People, people are upset because they steady watching mainstream media and have no idea of what the heck is going on out here. I mean, it's people arguing with me on the internet who don't even understand that Ferguson is St. Louis. Like, this is not Ferguson. Nobody from <laughs> Ferguson or Hazelwood says I'm from Ferguson or Hazelwood. This is St. Louis. This is St. Louis. Louis. And they try Tell to give me statistics about somewhere where I stay. Like, this Tell is St. Louis. They be like, Tell well, in Ferguson, I'd be like, in St. Louis? Yeah. Thank but you, you know why a lot of people, because a lot of people don't understand and how y'all got like 90 something municipalities here. How, they don't get it. It's right. how, and it's how the news set it up too. I mean, on the first day, the news had a, a map of St. Louis. It was a dot that said St. Louis and another dot that said Ferguson. I mean, if my grandma thought I was driving out of town every day. I stayed five minutes from here. Like I went to school here. Like it's crazy how much the media. Well, it's just and like I never noticed how much the media can manipulate something, man. And I'm in mass communication. Right. Like, and now I, I see what it really is. It's manipulative. And it's like they try to preach one narrative about the whole thing. I mean, even the first couple days. Controlling the on, narrative. When you was down on West Forest and it was all type of people out there. But when you watch on the news, they get the little square out of it, all angry black people. That wasn't even what was out there. I mean, and they just left a lot of stuff out. Like even how the, the madness started. I mean, they didn't even tell what the cops did before people got upset. I mean, it's a pattern. Jump too. We just got upset. But my ground got shot on Saturday. That whole thing didn't even start till Sunday after after the candlelight and the cops did all that stuff that they did. Okay, and then people got upset. But I didn't hear anything on the news about what the cops did about how they let the dogs pee on the memorial, how they they ran it over, all of that stuff. But everybody in St. Louis knew. But if you was, wasn't was there or you ain't know somebody who was there and you was just watching news, you had no idea. And then people want to tell me what's going on. No, nah, you're not here. You ain't never been here. Like, you you can't tell me what's going on somewhere where I stay, where I stay my whole life. They called us terrorists, you know? <laughs> Yeah, they straight called us terrorists. We're like, what kind of shit is that? Yeah, like, so that shit has been happening way before the Charles, everything. I don't even know what the fuck to do to become a terrorist. Like, I don't even know what to do. Like, oh, what the like, cop part about it is. With those cocktails. When I tell you, people here didn't even know what those <laughs> was. Yeah. I tell them, we're like, 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 what's the Molotov cocktail? We didn't even know what that was until they started saying we were throwing them. They're like, you got them? I want three of them. Shit, I need a drink. And then to be honest, to be honest, the people who did come here with them, they came up here like what Thursday, and, and man, they had accents thick in the bitch. wasn't even you from. Tell. You could tell they wasn't from her like Chicago accents and and New East York, LA, New York. Like I'm finna go throw this. Like we like, bro, you ain't even from here. I mean, the way you can tell. We all we all we all on Google. Like, okay, what is that though? Like, oh uh, Siri. <laughs> the way and you first can tell. Of all, is if you ever seen one of those, you know what you know what they do. So, I'm just, first of all, because I'm from Oakland. We got some radical shit. People have set police cars on fire and shit out there because they deserve it, but whatever. But um, <laughs> my thing is that they talking about like there was Molotov cocktails and I'm like, y'all know that them typically burn the shit out of things, right? Like, um, and they burn for a long time and so there's damage. Where the ash at? Where the black marks? The only thing I see burned was the memorial and I guarantee these people didn't do that. 
You see them, nobody here that came to support Mike Brown and um, stand up against police oppression, especially in the black community. Well, they didn't burn they me. They're just trying to, yes. they, it's entertainment. That's all the news is. It's entertainment. I mean, might as well be called ET, like right. entertainment tonight. That's exactly. all it is. They just heard for the entertainment. I remember one night when nothing was going on in West Carson, a car started smoking just because the car was smoking. All uh, CNN, they all ran down the street to, to try to get a smoking car. That's that's all they here for, though, is entertainment. See, that's what I'm that's saying. They what they want to do is riot paint. porn. They want riot porn because they can paint y'all as fucked up. That's why uh, every single... specific narrative. Exactly. And then, yes. and then they all that's, concerned that's about... about history. Police is created. By the KKK. Created by by like basically it was a gang or organization basically it was created to stop 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 black stop blacks from actually creating their own thing when they first bombed when they first bombed when they first bombed the black community when the black wall street when they first did that, I mean, if we want to talk about riots, they, that's if we want to talk about riots, I mean, people want to talk about riots you know and stuff, act when like they never seen home. a civil rights history book. Who was doing all the riots then when we was just trying to get civil rights? Because it wasn't us, we was marching. They were doing riots, okay? If we want to talk about riots and stuff. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm let's, first of all, riots all last. The whole history, you see yeah. that. Y'all came riots and oppressed us right. more, and we start falling back more. Like, they came and oppressed us like civil right movement they came they they came down hard they had batons they had the dogs had the water it's you know what i'm saying did all that to us and what we do it's we say okay going we gonna conform here. to y'all laws you know what i'm saying we gonna we gonna conform we gonna live in y'all system under peace y'all gave us this little piece of the pie and now we satisfied we're gonna live in it we weren't That's satisfied saying, for like real, this, this but we just like we're gonna take that this whole thing it's about you know it's about right and wrong it's about being on the right side of history right now i mean know. always yeah here. black wall street was in tulsa y'all gotta look that up if i lived in germany I would have been on the right side. I wouldn't have been over there with the Gestapo. I wouldn't have been there. I would have stood up for people. You just stand up for people. I mean, my activism didn't start here and it won't end here. If oppressed people say they oppressed, you stand up for them. Let's go way back to Anybody. If anybody, I don't care what color race, creed, what your sexuality is, if you are oppressed, I'm standing for you. And this is just something, I mean, that's been going out here. Out here. Right now, they and everything. We cannot introduce the same little what? mountain when you go over to Centerville, the same mountain still stands. That's the same pyramid that's been built by black folks in the Well, we know what's up. We know what's up here in Missouri because see, I mean, a lot of people don't understand outside of Missouri, this was the last state to free the slaves. The last state. So, I mean, like, all, 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 you got to think for a state that was free when slavery was first ended. You know what I'm saying? They knowledge and they they outside knowledge is gonna be way bigger than ours because we was the last one. So they oppressed us and hold yeah. us for I, how? I, I, I go for it and say so called ended because where, where they place the set is warehouse jobs where the same same plantation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just a new method. They moved it right. They moved it out. They moved it out the physical form and put it on paper. Yeah, That's all they did. Name. They. They, they legalized slavery. That's all they did, for real. Thank you. Know you. That's all they did. Legalized slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like, I um, mean, if you never read the new Jim Crow or... Uh, Somebody saying the Willie Lynch letter. Oh, no. It's this. It's this. Uh, uh, Don Whitmore, they got it. They got it. They own it. So, if you think about that battle that happened, a lot of people, they, they common misconceptions say that that happened to free the slave. That battle happened to free the slave, but it really didn't. It was like more of an economical thing. Really? We out the on the north, we got industrial, too. you know, we got industries and we out here working place. hard yeah. trying to build this up. But y'all on the south, y'all supplying us with the cottons that run the factories that make y'all get everything that y'all got. You know what I'm saying? And y'all just sitting back fat getting big bread. And we out here working hard giving y'all everything that y'all got. But y'all ain't doing nothing. Because y'all got slaves going out there picking that cotton. And then y'all sending us off the cotton. And we sending y'all back big bread. Hold on. Then you turn around and make the money out of cotton. You never play reparations. Then you make the descendants of slaves go to work for wage, slave wages so they can barely afford to take care of themselves, right? And the money is made out of the same shit you were supposed to fucking give us reparations for. We never got it. Then you started a caste system. They think, oh, we free slaves, but the caste system was created on our back. We are underneath the bottom. And it's not here. They got some in Missouri, like, I'll call them out, like labor ready. Like staff and senior, like elite staff. I'm talking about these the same people. That they, yeah, they quit to give you a job, but it's, but it's going to be slaves. Slave you UPS. Let's call it out. UPS. Oh, man. It's not going to be a race thing. It's going to be a class issue. 
sorry. Y'all also, I'm sorry we were there. There's also a type of legal slavery that's preset for our people. Similar to how the man made five now for us. Who ships in all of the drugs that are consumed in this country? At the end of the fucking day, it's the government. The same ever since Ronald Reagan, you know, had the Iran Contra, just put a lot of crack cocaine money into those disenfranchised urban areas, those poverty stricken areas. The government funnels drugs into America, right? And it trickles all the way down so that our people have to resort to selling those drugs due to a lack of resources, not because anybody is a bad person, but because people have families That's to take care of. Know. And the government systematically deprives us of educational resources, so we have to resort to selling narcotics and doing illegal things of certain age, you know what I'm saying? It's another form of entrapment that's really subtle. And after, did you know that technically the government is said to be able to tax drug money that they find our people? What does that say about capitalism? First, we're going to set you up for these drugs, so we and then we can, that. And, and then we put you in jail and make money off of your black ass. And, and then, stuff. while you out here selling the drugs for us, we getting paid for that. So, I like, you, you don't lose because you putting the money back into the government. Yeah, so you don't this, lose this period. capitalist structure, man. I mean, hey. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is you can see it now I mean, with the same the company. company. I mean, the, the rich 1%, they rule the entire world. They they run everything. They run the media. They run the government. The government does not work for you. The media does not work for you. They work for corporations. They work for big business. They work for money. I mean, anytime anything happens in the world, look at the stock market. Look who's making money if you really want to know what's going on with something. Somebody makes money out of every crisis, every war, everything. And it's not for no reason. These things don't just happen. Happen. They are created. Nothing, nothing is just happening anymore. Y'all really think, y'all really think uh, Ebola just, right now, just, they, just they popped up over here? Right. Yeah. No, and they brought the shit off me. Okay. Let me shut that. Let me just shut. Let me stop with that. Right. Let me stop with that. Yeah. Let me not even. Let me. Yeah. Let's talk to Yeah. Let's talk to I feel you. Let's flood them with police. Let's flood them with like, like let let's stop them from walking and this and this is your life. I mean, you doing your everyday thing, but every day you getting treated like like you're a criminal. You know what I'm saying? It's guys out here getting killed every single day. This is not just about Mike Brown. This oh, is not about right. Trayvon Martin. This, 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 this is not about this is not Timothy Brown. This is not about all of them. You know what I'm saying? This is this is not even about not I had to take it even further back. This is not even about Rodney King. And you know what's funny about Brown? It all happens. It do. It, it happens every up. single it day. And you know what happens? And it never stops. The first thing they do, right, they move a bunch of people out of the community like they did on the north side, right? Yeah. And then they declare eminent domain. So everybody left in the community got to go so they can turn down. That's how you tell they're going to oh, destruction. Oh, you look like they, they hit on, uh, Instagram is like, dang. He has like a red Abby. His name is like STL something. But he was talking about how over in, uh, you know, where that Walmart is. John Crawford. Yeah, I think that's who. Yeah, when he was with the toy gun yeah, and the officer came in there and shot him. No, about how uh, they moved all of them out with eminent domain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With, mm -hmm. their, with their Walmart, and they I hate Walmart. I still shop there, though. They tried to do the same, all the they tried to do the yeah, same thing in Jennings, but they bought those people, people out. out. Are you on Twitter? Yes. I have a lot of people who want to talk to you. Can you tell them your Twitter? Uh, what is my Twitter name? J-A-D-O-R-E-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y, Jador Kennedy. Okay, do it um, slower so they can catch it, please. Jador Kennedy, J-A-D-O-R-E. K-E-N-N-E-D-Y. All right, thank you. You guys can find her on Twitter. We're supposed to have put that all these guys first. All these guys. All these people want to say, well, oh, he was a thug, this, this, and that. I grew up here. I went to school at McClure, and Ferguson police harassed me before. Me and a car full of three girls. So it has nothing to do with that. They're just very bored, and they really have nothing else to do half the time because this is a community where that was the first murder. I mean, they really don't have that much to deal with. So all they do is harass people all day long. And they harass me a car, me and my three friends, a car full of girls, kept us outside in below zero weather for about an hour and a half. Told us we couldn't call anybody. And then at the end of it, dumped our purses out all inside the car.
card and gave my friend a curfew. And that's all they do. Y'all got a curfew here? Well, when we were we were teenagers when they happened, so I guess you know we didn't know. I guess we did. He gave us one. I guess we, I think we were about 16, 17 when they did that. I mean, you know what? The bothersome fact is that this is a predominantly black city, and the the police department manages to be predominantly white. Um, I, that's just a fact that is hella bothersome, and it is a class issue, most definitely. And but and, and so that was is what made it intersectional. But if you put black in front of anything, it makes it worse automatically. And so with this being a predominantly white police department and, and a predominantly black community, I mean it's inherent racism. It's already happening. You know what I mean? Um, and so when people like have a lot to say about it, I'll be like, you're blinded by your white privilege or the American dream, which is really what it is. You know what I mean? It's so strong, you cannot wake up. You know what I mean? And I mean, it's, it's all like over North County. Morning, I stay, my dad stays in Ferguson still, but I stay like uh, 10 minutes that way. And those police over there are out of hand where I stay too. So they offer like amnesty on some tickets. I know because they didn't want all of this coming over there. They're scared where I stay. So because they know in uh, Normandy, like uh, we have like 21 different municipalities in just Normandy. Like, I was about to say uh, Beverly Hills, country Club Hills, um, Belle Village, Belle City, uh, Pine Line, Pagedale. I, I can't, you can walk across the street and be in another part of Normandy. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, no, I was like in St. Louis, it's in like over 90 municipalities. I, I, I mean, sometimes I'm driving down the street. I mean, even even just coming down South Florida, you'll go through, what do you go through? You go through Cool Valley, Unincorporated, North, sure. Unincorporated, and then Ferguson, and then down there, what is that, like Havilton Park or something? Like, you'll go through 12 things just driving down one street it's crazy you never know where you at and you can get a ticket from all three driving down one street right and then they, you know, you might get lost in the system, not get a sent to you, and then you have multiple warrants in different mean municipalities. I mean, I've been scared of getting warrants before because how many tickets I got when I started driving being a teenager, mm -hmm. and they were just pulling me over. I mean, a couple weeks before this happened, I got pulled over twice coming off of my own street. Pulled over twice the second time. I'm just like, what do you guys need to pay for now? Like, are you building a community center? What? The person in this chat stream named I am Darren Wilson needs to be gone right now. Whoever is modding. Please. Uh, okay, I don't even want to see those guys. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just the police, they, I mean, it's these quotas that they have to fill. I mean, it's, it's, it's the way that the police is set up. It's, it's, I don't know. But, Whoever it is, change their screen name every single time I uh, stream, um, and they come on and call us uh, Nignos, which I guess is that a new thing? I don't yes, even know. I, wish, I really wish the trolls would understand that I'm way past being affected by any of that. I know who I am. I, I love all people. I mean, you, you, you're not gonna make me feel bad about myself or anything. So they can call me whatever they want to call me. I just tell them Jesus loves them. I mean, I told somebody Jesus loved them the other day. Solo like, Buffalo gotta go too. Huh? Oh uh, yeah, that, that's. I mean, trolls don't bother me. They call me whatever. I know who I am and what I stand for. Well, you know what? I, I have a lot of people who are very supportive in the chat, um, and there is a lot of conversation going on there, and it needs to stay positive. You know what I mean? Um, because that's what's going on here is community and love and positivity. Yeah, it's, it's all positive out here. I mean, look at all of these. Look at all the people. I mean, it's been like that since. This day one is so positive. Being out here restores my faith in humanity that he's taking away on the internet sometimes. But being out here, it restores my faith in humanity. In human, in all For real. Of yeah. No, I understand exactly what you mean. Because before I came out to Occupy, I was like, I felt hella alone and shit. Like, I had my little debate team and my professors who were cool. With, you know, I mean, who were honestly the community I had. They were my friends. I felt like they were family. Um, but they were all like white or Hispanic, like not not black, you know what I mean? And so I felt very isolated with my issues as a black woman um, in a lower socioeconomic, you know, uh, tax bracket because it's like, and I, I'm also conscious, you know what I mean? And, I, and I'm an activist, I want to be proactive. And so it's like, it's very, it's not a lot of people like that, even though you would think it is. But it's like, people are so programmed and so jaded, you know, they're like, well, what can we do? It's the world we live in. Just you know what so, I mean? We're just so wrapped up in all of this stuff and all this material stuff and just going about your daily life. And I, I mean, 
I, I think that's one of the, being a bystander and sitting by and letting things happen is almost worse than being a perpetrator. Sitting by and letting stuff happen when you can get up and do something to stop it. I mean, that's almost worse. I, I, I never sit and let injustice happen to anybody. Erson, you are so beautiful and smart. I like, love what you're saying right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I feel. I mean, like I said, I've been doing this before this. I, I um, work with an organization called Hate Breakers. I mean, it's all types of people in their organization. The, 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 the woman who started the organization is Jewish. I mean, the, the program director is a, a, a white woman, like, and then it's me, and we're just all, uh, you know, working to, to end all of this. I mean, and we talk to kids, and we just, you know, try to tell them, you know, being a bystander, like, you can stand up and do something about any type, I mean, from bullying to, I mean, to anything. Can. I mean, that's what's supposed to you can stand up. You can you can make a change. If, if it's nothing that you can do, the least you can do is, is tweet and send around videos. Right, you know, right, right. Talk to somebody yeah, yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. We have time to talk about Kim Kardashian. We have time to talk about things that actually matter in this world. Exactly. But we're so distracted with all of this material crap. And don't get me wrong, I'm distracted too. I mean, I took a day off to go get an iPhone, a new iPhone. So we all distracted, but then That's it's the time like the to not be distracted anymore and to get out and try to make a change and just support. I mean, this all we need. I mean, I know y'all saw China. Now, oh yeah, Hong Kong. Yeah. Hey, can you? You got your phone now. Can you send me a tweet so people can find you that can't find your Twitter? Okay. Um, and uh, her name is Susie, and she says to let you know that your smile brings her hope. Oh. It's so happy to see people being um, not being defeated emotionally. You know what I mean, or anything out here. What's the, uh, it's um, B E L L A E I K O. It says filming in Ferguson. That's me. Okay. So if you could send me a tweet. Okay. She about to tweet me, y'all. So go to my Twitter thread and you will be able to find her. Um, yeah. I mean. She says, I'm serious. But he said, I'm tearing up from how strong and beautiful this woman is. These are like working people. Like everybody in person. That's why people are like, get a job. Who, who here doesn't have a job? I mean, these are all working people who just go to work every day and try to feed their families. I mean, nobody is. You know, I've, I've, it's, I've never had that experience here. These are all people who just want to live life and, and do what they have to do and go to work every day. And then to see that happen, I mean, that's why it was such a big deal because it happened in Ferguson. Everybody knows Ferguson is so chill. So for somebody to be laying dead in the middle of the street, like that's crazy. That's crazy over here. That does not happen. So that's why it became such a big deal. I mean, I remember I was at work. My brother still stays here. I didn't know if that was my brother that got killed. I mean, he walks around here all the time because this is type of place where you can still walk around you can walk around by yourself before this like you can walk around by yourself and be okay so that's why it was such a big deal it's like it, it was just it was crazy that it would happen right here in Ferguson of all places it, this is not anything that you know we were used to we were used to police harassment but for them to just shoot somebody dead in the middle of the street like that I mean kids I'm surprised the kid didn't get shot in with flying bullets because kids are out there playing all the time yeah all right well thank you so much for talking with me I definitely appreciate it Hey y'all, so I've been up for two and a half hours. Y'all know I gotta shut down the stream so that I can save it. Um, and I'm gonna go try to find Argus so I can uh, check on my battery charger. So I'm gonna shut down for about two minutes. Um, you know that you got a 9 Ops Pro, you got Argus News, you got um, Bassam, Bassam, Bassam out here, um, a 9 Cop Watch. Uh, there's a number of different streams. Please go watch them until I come back. Give me a few minutes to be able to do that, okay? Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate you all, uh, watching with me, and uh, I'll be back up in about five minutes. Hey, y'all seen Argus? Y'all seen Mustafa? Not in a minute. He came up and was filming with you, but I haven't seen him in about 15. <laughs> Hey man, it's give me a squirt, bro. Show you. Excuse me, thank you.
Paulo Fernandes.